Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. Guys, I started doing the Sketchbox uh, mail order. This is my first one, so we'll see how we like it. Um, with, you know, Clint gets the uh, quilt of the month. Well, I canceled my monthly one because I wasn't happy with it, so we got this instead. So, let's see what we have. And I've been really sketching a lot lately. Uh, because Inktober starts tomorrow. So that's kind of fun. And I was hoping they'd have some good things in here. I've been looking at several subscription boxes just to see what I would want. And this one really popped out at me. So I thought I would share what's in here. <coughs> Sorry, uh... Oh, and see. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I'm all flutter, babe. I know you are. Okay, let's see what I have. Oh, cool. A pet artist pen. Okay, there is some paper, so we'll have to try that out. <gasps> no way. I think this is a Jap Japanese... I think it's a Japanese um, ink pen. That's cool, because I was just watching someone on Skillshare, and she used that. So she said it's really hard for people on uh, beginners. <laughs> oh, I got two black ones, black pens. Yeah, they're both exactly the same thing, but they're different sizes. One's an M, one's a B. We'll see what those are. Uh, pastel pen, soft white. So we'll try that out. Clean after use, ready to use, close after use. It looks like you store it down. This is exciting because you guys know if you're doing Inktober at all, then you're kind of preparing for that. Mm. So this is an India ink brush marker. So that's pretty cool. Shake well before activating pump. Okay, that's cool. I don't know what this is. Scarlet Red Calligraphy Ink. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, right now I'm so happy because this is some stuff, especially this. I was considering getting one from Amazon, but then she <coughs> said, then she said, um, amateurs use, use a regular paintbrush. <laughs> I was like, I'm definitely an amateur. Okay, this is in Japanese or something. Kuretake. Okay, it looks like graphite. Sketchbox graphite. Let's see if it tells me anything. Yeah, here's a book. Okay, let's kind of look and see. Here is, I think that's a, oh, it's a featured artist. Having grown up in several different countries, she understood the importance of constant learning at an early age. Creating art helped Lil to process and understand the world around her while creating an outlet to communicate what she learned. Every piece she creates is born of curiosity, whether that's exploring a new space or trying out a new medium. With each artwork conveying a message or question, this mindset serves her well as a concept artist and illustrator in the gaming industry, specializing in tabletop and video games. So I guess she drew that picture. That's really pretty. So they kind of, I know they send you a um, example so you can draw it if you want to. And this is some of that Honor Mule, I think is how you say that. Uh, it's a pad, an ink pad. So, let's see what we have. An ink stick. What's an ink stick, babe? Well, that's this thing. I don't know. I have to read up on it. <laughs> well, is that a case? Huh? Is it a case that this holds thing? whatever it is? This thing? You no, know, what you just had in your hand, that little thing. This thing? This is an ink stick. I understand that, but is it a case? And no. And then it's inside? Or no, it turns to, uh, 
Yeah. Ink, it looks like. Huh? Okay, it says, <coughs> We worked with Kurataki Zig to develop this custom solid sumi ink stick. It's mm -hmm. a solid block of ink that when ground lightly on a surzy stone with water turns <coughs> to ink. This allows you to grind to achieve whatever deepness of black you'd like mm -hmm. to use. Okay, so this is what you grind it on. Oh, I was thinking, I hope they give you the stone to dry and grind <laughs> I was on. thinking that too. So I know we have gravel, so maybe that <laughs> Can out. you use gravel? Yeah. Or that Indian stone I got. So look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so add water to the reservoir and slowly rub the solid ink stick against the lightly green texture to create your ink. Cool. This is a bamboo brush. Keeping with the traditional ink theme, we chose a brush that's often used with sumi ink, which is what this is. A round size two will give you plenty of flexibility this month and it soaks up a lot of ink for every brush stroke. That's exciting. It's not exactly the one I was thinking about, but Gracie Lynn's up here to help. <coughs> Speedball acrylic ink. That's what this red is. We added a red acrylic ink from Speedball to keep with the traditional Japanese theme for this year's ink box. That is so cool. Adding the soft white pastel pen, this one, contains a water-based pigment ink that produces light, semi-transparent white effects and is perfect for highlighting your ink art this month. So I'm thinking that since it's ink Inktober, and that's been going around for a while, so that's why everything they sent uh, is based on ink. So that's kind of exciting because I'm doing Inktober for sure. Oh, and they send you a little sticker too. Thank you. I heard about what you're doing. Uh, the Faber Castells. <clears throat> these I actually got fabric? a fabric. Faber. Faber. Oh, okay. Faber. You got my hopes up there, babe. No, Faber Castell. Two pigment-based permanent pens to outline your art this month. The medium tip is perfect for consistent lines, and the brush allows for a more loose approach. Okay, so we have an M for medium and a B for brush. Higgins India Ink Soft Liner Brush, which is this. Oh, I should be telling you guys how much all this is. Gracie Lynn. I'm hiding her. Cleaning. Gracie, your woo -woo. <laughs> so this is a thin and soft brush tip on this pen. It's great for all sorts of illustrative line work or covering large areas. And I purposely have not started on, I know um, Inktober starts um, October the 1st, but I'll probably, well I don't know if we'll be gone tomorrow or not. I don't think we will. I don't know. Uh. Anyways, I've been waiting to see if, before I started working on my sketch for tomorrow. Um, custom, thank you for putting bite in there. Papers made specifically to work with the Sumi ink in your box this month. Cool. So this is, so if you were doing Inktober, you could do everything you needed to do with this box. So this box was about 40, I think it was like 39.95 or something. So let's see what we have here. So we have $6. Can you add up for me? I'm gonna see what this is worth because a lot of people like to know. I'm getting there this way. He's getting there just Sorry. Waiting. I still got a science infection. Okay. Six dollars plus six twenty, which is this thing. Okay. Plus 565, which is the bamboo brush. Yeah. Uh, the acrylic ink is 256. <coughs> the white pen that Gracie's trying to show you is three dollars. Okay, <coughs> 370 and 370. Each of these pit pens are 370. <laughs> yeah, this 
She prefers the white one. This outliner or liner is 11.30. I know. And then the paper pad is 10.50. Anything else? That's it. It's a grand total of 5261. So 5261, so it's almost double, not quite double. <coughs> well, it's not really double at all, is it? <laughs> we paid about 40 and it's what? 50 something. 50 something. So about $15 over what we paid. So that's not too bad. Uh, dare I try it with a little turbot here? Gracie Lynn. <laughs> well, let's not do the ink yet, but we'll do the pens and kind of look at them. Maybe she'll settle down. She's got a new new bed. <laughs> she is so cute. She did get in trouble today. <clears throat> yes, she did. She, she likes to try to get in the trash, and Daddy had to spank her. And then she came over after he spanked her and told her no. He didn't hit him you know, whip them very hard or anything. Just kind of bobs them. And she said, I'm so sorry, Daddy. <laughs> she, she just, it, that's what it looked like. She went up to him and just said, meow, like pick me up. And she loved on him and apologized for being a little stinker. But we do have bad news. Well, for us, Clamp got up this morning and said, hey, honey, or when I woke up, he said, honey, I got bad news for you. And I'm like, what? And he said, I saw a mouse. I'm like, what? Yeah, a mouse. It ran from the dishwasher underneath the hot water heater. So we have up 10 cats outside, 10 inside. Yep. And Clint's the best mouser. Still around, I imagine. We haven't found well, he's it. Around. And he, he may. He won't be around for long. He won't be. Somebody will get him. But he might have made his way back outside, I hope. <laughs> Don't tell me he hasn't. <laughs> So here's the paper. It's a really nice paper. It's really thin though. Look at that. I wonder if the ink will go through it. That concerns me. But I mean, it's made for ink, so why would it, right? Right. I'm going to keep that under it just in case because it makes me nervous. So this is the Faber Castell brush. I have used these before when I was practicing calligraphy. Yeah, it is. well, it's going through, but I don't think it's like transferring. Okay, so that's the brush. And this is the medium pen. Fabric Castells are one of my favorite to use. Been using them for years. Did I even spell that right? Yeah. It's R A T C L I F F E. Huh. I'm not spelling my name. I'm spelling Fab Fabric Castell. Look at the other pen. <laughs> look at the pen. Look at the pen. So this is that one brush. I do my very first ink um, project I'm thinking about is uh, outlining everything in black and all I had was like these pens so I think it might be really nice to have this so I'm definitely gonna try it I'm trying to see if it's sealed or nope it just comes off okay I think you press down but do you shake well before activating pump to prime seems like it would mess up the tip I mean, how are you supposed to pump it? <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. If I did, I would say, well, like that, obviously. <laughs> but I didn't want to say that. You guys know it's me. Okay, so <clears throat> that covers really nice. <laughs> 
paper seems to like it bleed you know the ink kind of bleeds on the paper not necessarily because like there it didn't so inktober's coming i guess i'm prepared now see it did shoot under it of course there was a lot of ink there okay and then it says to clean it and stuff i don't know how i'm supposed to clean it didn't it tell me to clean it or was that something else maybe that was the white pen Okay, so that's black ink. This one is the same way <laughs> I'm going to make. I have black and white everywhere. Am I supposed to? Soft white, white space, pastel shades. Da -da. After you use draw clean, close cap, store horizontally. Okay, does it say shake? It didn't say shake. I'm going to shake it. Okay, I don't think it's doing anything. It doesn't feel like it. Now this one, oh, is that one already? No, there's no ink on there. Okay, let me see what it says to do. Soft, white space, pressure after usage, draw clean. Ready, oh, it's ready to use, it says. Is that it? I mean, because how, how do you know if it's... Mine's broken. Nope, there's white. Okay, I guess it is white. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Me? No. So, it's just a, I don't know. I mean, you will need, you know, some highlights and stuff on your, some images, so I guess you could use that. And then it says, draw to, oh, maybe that's, like to clean off the black ink? I don't know. My hands are never coming clean again. Clean after use. Okay, so I guess if it... Okay, well that was fun. What? Just this. Oh, could you go stir the oh, yes, apple pie? Clint just peeled and chopped up a um, box of apples for apple pie filling. 25 pounds. 25 pounds so you know what I'm gonna do I am going to go get some water kind of clean my hands maybe and then we'll play with this and see what kind of mess we can get into I'll be right back hey okay, guys I got some water we stirred the apple pie filling I'm gonna spray some water in here and I'm just gonna kind of play with this ink here I mean, am I supposed to mix it? You guys probably know more than I do. <laughs> am I supposed to mix it here? Hey, it's black, I think. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I was thinking, wait a minute. I think maybe I'm supposed to put it here. I don't know what I'm... I have no clue what I'm doing. I'll have to watch somebody else. <laughs> I'm new at drawing. You guys know that. Okay, here's the bamboo brush. So maybe you're supposed to put it here and kind of add. Okay, what a mess. Okay. We'll just write high here. Ooh, that's pretty ink though, isn't it? And then like they said, you can... Um, Kind of darken it. This is how I think you would use it. Oh yeah, this is nothing like the brush she had. This is just like a round paintbrush, so it's not bad at all. Hers had really um, soft bristles. Um, that was kind of fun. Trying to think if I would use this ink over, you know, the black ink. Hi. 
I mean, you could. It soaks in really good with this paper. My paper is totally different because I've been drawing in my book, so I don't want to change. Okay, so I think the only thing we haven't tried is the red. So let's try that because, you know, I wonder if you can use it with this brush. It's acrylic, it says, but it's calligraphy ink, so I'm going to use it. It's going to splatter at me. I can feel it already <laughs> on my fingernails. I thought about painting my fingernails, but I think I'll wait until October's over. Oh, you guys. We'll start with the junk journal tomorrow. I just knew this was coming. And I want to be able to show you guys. I'm not going to do probably sketches on um, video. But I want to be able to show you guys what I'm doing, you know, during Inktober. Okay, so let's just write hi. So it's kind of a transparent ink, huh? So it doesn't necessarily go over my black, but it's really bright and vibrant uh, ink. Several people, I think, are using, like, um, color along with their ink. I mean, there's some people using watercolor or stuff like that. Oh, but um, some people are just using ink. And I was thinking about just using the ink. I'm gonna make sure that's clean, so I'll probably have to wash it. Oops. So, if you guys are interested, I'm pretty thrilled with this one. Um, yeah, once you get over the messes and stuff, you know. I really like this box and I only get one once a month so but you guys know I've been practicing drawing and sketching and stuff so that's exactly fit the bill for me so where's my duber that was on this oh I bet Gracie land fan oh no here it is sorry Gracie <laughs> Boy, you're in trouble, Gracie. She blamed you. Okay, there. Got this thing on it. So, I hope you guys give this a try if you're interested in any of this. I mean, you can even look for them on Amazon, you know, if you're interested in this really cool. I really like this pen once I quit making a huge mess with it. I need to try it in my other sketchbook. Grab it. This one's my um, same paper as the one I'm using. So I just wanted to, yeah, it doesn't really bleed or anything. It's India ink, which is a permanent ink. So this is Higgins. India ink. So I definitely might try that on tomorrow's sketch. And like I said, I will show you guys, you know, every day. My plan through the month is to show you the one before it. Or the one for that particular day. So we are going up to um, Uray. No, Ofer. Oh. I think on Friday we're going to go up on Ofer. So... I should have a junk journal video for you guys up tomorrow. Feeling much better. Clint's feeling some better. <laughs> he was until he started now. doing the apples. No, I told him not to worry about I it. Worked yesterday, so. He did work yesterday. I just rested and watched Hallmark videos. I really was not feeling very well. But I'm feeling much better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and uh, give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I'm going to go wash my hands. And I think... Our apple, so or apple pie filling is almost ready to can, so that will be nice. 
and I'll get that done and yeah have tons of apple pie filling for the winter now so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video see you soon bye bye guys